My first instrument was a tenor saxophone. Uh, it's actually the only instrument that they had left in the music room when I went to pick out my instruments. Um, I started when I was 11 years old and, um, and I've been in love with it ever since. Well, uh, how I connected to jazz was, uh, was kind of interesting. I was actually in the drama department at my, um, at my art school that I went to. I went to an art school in New Haven, Connecticut called the Educational Center for the Arts. And I was actually in the drama department. And I, I played the saxophone, but I just kind of played band music. I didn't really play jazz. Um, and then I used to always walk by the jazz room on my way out of school. And, but I had a saxophone, so one day one of the guys stopped and was like, man, you play saxophone? I was like, yeah. And they're like, you should, you know, you should check out the jazz, the jazz band. So I became friends with some of the guys, and then one, one day I actually went and I actually jammed with the guys, and uh, they were actually amazed that I could play a little bit. And they're like, man, why aren't you in the jazz department? So um, I did love the drama department, but uh, I think I was more moved by, uh, by what was happening with, with the jazz department. So I ended up switching, and that's how my whole, uh, my whole love for jazz began. Uh, for sure, uh, there's been there's been one there've been a few mentors. Of course, we 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 all have many along the way in different different stages of our development. But my really, I consider my musical father, um, so to speak, is Jackie McLean. Um, I met him when I was in in high school, um, and he invited me uh, to the Hart School of Music, where he was uh, where he was the head of the jazz department. Um, and really, when I met uh, Mr. McLean in high school, that really uh, that really began my, uh, my, you know, my tutelage under him, and um, um, and I consider him my musical father. In many ways, I consider my musical uncle uh, the great Ron Carter. Um, I met him when I was at the Thelonious Monk Institute, um, getting my master's, um, and in, in the same way um, Jackie did, um, Ron took me under his wing and really, um, you know, guided me. And uh, you know, I didn't I didn't grow up with a father, so both of those guys are really father figures, not just musically, but also just you know, taught me what it meant to be respectful, you know, how it meant to dress hip and, and just to be a real jazz musician. I, I do remember the, 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 first, the first pay gig. Um, actually, I had a band back, back when, I was in, when I was in high school and, uh, um, and I wasn't really into straight ahead jazz right away. It was more of a contemporary thing um, in New Haven, uh, Connecticut. And uh, we actually won a band competition, um, and we played a jazz festival uh, in, in New, the New Haven area, which was for free. But then after that, people started catching on that there was these young kids that were playing. Um, so I got invited to, again, do another jazz festival in New Haven, at that time called, I think, the Molson Jazz Festival or something like that. And, um, and I'm pretty sure that that was our first paid gig. I don't think the pay was much, but it was, it was paid nonetheless. I'm Wayne Escoffrey. For more videos, go to jazztimes.com.